Hello Desert Bearhawk fans. It's uh, after midnight in the shop. It uh, seems to be a little cooler here today, although the temperature indicator doesn't say that. But it's been a couple days since I posted, so I thought I would shoot a quick video. I have to do it quick so I don't have to upload it via my computer. It's kind of a cool shot, isn't it? Right down them ribs. Anyways, voila! I have the left wing in the fixture. Now, <clears throat> this didn't go as easily as I had hoped. Um, had some issues, mainly with this vertical post right here. That post, and you can see down there, used to be bonded to the floor, but the heat is so high out here that this post I don't know if you can see it, but this whole post started to twist. And because of that, it was screwing everything up. So I busted that post. Well, I didn't have to break it loose. It actually broke itself loose from the floor. So I had to unscrew it from the ceiling, unscrew it from the floor, and re-plumb this post while these four spars and that whole framed up wing, the right wing, was hanging in it. Ay, caramba. It was quite the situation but I got uh, I got mad at it and so I busted out the tube of high saw the quick set high saw it's about 20 bucks a tube I had Jake lever jack that that post off the floor because it shrunk a little bit too and we levered that thing off the floor and I put a whole tube of high saw underneath there and, and pounded in two door shims and I mean I, I locked that damn thing down good and then we got a plumb and then I, I even glued that ledger board down there on the floor that you can see if I'm working my way around here. That 2x4 is glued to the floor too and glued to the side of the post with high saw. And if you've ever used high saw, if you're a model airplane guy, for sure you've probably used it, especially if you did jets. And that stuff, when it lights off, dude, it is, it's pretty solid. So I'm hoping now that post is not going to move. And, uh, of course, because it moved... I had to spend several hours realigning this wing because everything got out of whack down here and I was beginning to panic because I think uh, I think that's what I do all the time too easily but you know you spend uh, hours and hours and hours measuring this stuff and uh, when things start moving it's no bueno so when we got our lock back in everything's nice and square um, the right wing is ready to ready to start riveting together, I suppose. Um, I've been holding off because I was going to put a pedo tube mount right here. And then I realized, wait a minute, this is the right wing dangling. And I sit on the left side as the pilot, so I want the pedo tube on the left side. Mostly so I can look out in flight and look at it if I start to get something weird happening but moreover um, seeing how I'll, the only door for the uh, pilot is on the left there's only one door and uh, so this will eliminate somebody whacking their head into it or grabbing onto it or something just try to keep the non-initiated away from it as best I can and like I said so I could keep an eye on it in flight so that pedo tube is going to end up going right here in between ribs eight and nine and nine the mounts not even in there yet so and then of course I'm gonna have two landing lights and they're gonna be probably mounted right in this area right here I'm gonna try to dual purpose access panel so I'll have a access panel right here to get to this pulley so it'll be easy to have an access panel right here to get to the light as well so <clears throat> We're all straight and plumb right now. Um, I used my laser, did a laser shot on it. It's uh, it's straight, plumb, and true. And locked down. Oh, remember I told you I'd have a better solution for the for the uh, bead at the end of the string to center up on the holes. Well, I don't know if this is focusing in or not. I can't tell. But uh, I took a AN4 bolt and I took it to a machine shop. And they center board it for me with the number 40 bit. Same thing here. 
and then the number four bolt goes in the quarter inch hole that's that's holding this so that does so that does a couple of things it keeps this pin to the mount and it puts the string right dead center in the hole and as you can see it results in the plumb bob being right dead center on that hole and right dead center on that hole so <clears throat> that was my little solution I'm sure I'm not reinventing the wheel here but uh, it works for me so anyways that's a quick update. I can't go too much longer. The video won't upload. Um, next time you see this, we'll have the root rib in. We'll start, we're going to start putting in the, um, the mechanism for the flap like we have there, that one. That'll be the very next step after we get this all true and plumb. And I check it 10 more times because that's what I have a tendency to do. We'll work on getting uh, the flap in, the flap drive in. Once we get the flap drive in, we can lock this you know, drill these holes and lock this metal, this steel in place. That's going to start locking this wing down. Then the next thing we'll do is we'll drill the holes and we'll lock this steel in place. That's going to start locking this wing down. And uh, we'll be on our way. We'll be off to the races. I've only got uh, four holes that can cause me a nightmare. And that's the four holes, the two aileron hole, bolt holes here and the two aileron stanchion bolt holes here. And I haven't checked them, checked them, but I think they're pretty close. And if not, we'll get creative on how to how we fix it. But again, if you're building a bear hawk, don't drill those holes. All right, I better scram. That's my update. I'll catch you guys in the shop.